Hey, it's me, Sly7, and welcome to part 14 of There Is No Light. We're going to return to Central Station, because I'm pretty sure I missed a bunch of dialogue. And in the last part, I also got pretty caught up as to whether I could actually... Or whether Samidi would open that door for us or not. The charlatan thinks that he can put up, put on a robe and become the greatest of the greatest? I bet this father doesn't even know how to use a sword. Why are you looking at me like that? Want to turn me in, huh? No? Oh, so you're with us? You'll see. Soon all this trash along with their beloved hand and father will rot in hell. Oh my gosh. It's got his own theme song. The souls are crying. There are fewer and fewer of them each day. The prodigal son it takes them to his kingdom. That's supposed to be a pilgrim. I'm also curious. Do any of the other stations change? Like, is New Nimbus gonna have any dialogue? The time to end the tyranny has come. Come and join the liberation movement. Stop believing in fairy tales and start fighting for your future. You can still be helpful, even if you can't hold a weapon. If you all fight as one, we may have the chance to break free from the father's chains. Oh, this is not gonna be good. I've got such a bad feeling about what's to come. Fewer and fewer people come here every day, and the settlement has become quite empty, to be honest. Someone fled from the central station fearing war, and someone on the contrary decided to support the rebels. But the Corps doesn't really care. Ever since the father summoned part of Nimbus Garrison to the station, the guards have been shorthanded here. Those who remain are still maintaining order, but no one cares any more about what people talk about. They're getting a taste of freedom. Yeah, we'll just check down at this monument, and if there's no new dialogue, we'll just peace out. Yeah, I'll head back to Central Station. Does anyone else think something really bad's about to happen? I think something really bad is about to happen. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. How do these bloody gates work? Listen, maybe we should go to the depot. This engineer might still be there. I doubt that he would gladly help those who kicked him out of the house. There will be no help. Calm down. I'm just trying to come up with a solution. He's crying. You better help me. If we don't fix these gates, we'll be on the dump with the other or with other trash. Father gave the order not to let strangers into the station. These screamers are getting on my nerves. What can we do if the gates are broken? How'd you manage to get into the core? No one cares if they're broken or not. You've been giving you've been given an order, so follow it. Don't think, just do. Give me the pipe wrench. Okay, let's check the hospital. Curfew was imposed on the territory of the central station by order of the father. Leave the street immediately. Or what? Huh? Sorry, but the hospital is not accepting new patients at the moment. Father's order. May the hand protect you. I... Oh, the great hand. Oh, the mighty hand. I know I shouldn't be here. Curfew and so on. <laughs> But I couldn't stay home. My brother, he's just like you. He's a tough guy. He serves in the solar core. I was told that someone attacked him. I know that the Great Hand protects its faithful servants, but I just want to see him myself. I want to know that he's okay, you know? 
here. Well, let me check. New chief doctor is awful. I think he's stupid and knows nothing about medicine. He's new here. I don't know what happened to the previous one, but he was definitely against the father's idea of clearing out the hospital. We need more beds. Come on, bring them here. Father thanks everyone for using the services of the hospital. If you're not in critical condition, please leave the hospital. It's for your own good. Come on, faster. I want this room to be ready by the end of the day. I think they're like euthanizing people. Huh? I don't know where to find that. Whoops, I broke that. Hey, pst, shh, keep it quiet. You know what they're actually doing? I want to clear out the hospital. Father ordered to free up the space, so everyone who can walk has been asked on streets. I got some kind of infection in the tunnels. I have a fever, but I still can walk, so they'll throw me out. <laughs> I won't survive on the streets. And probably not. Hey, this is eerie. Tell me, young man, what do they think of us? People get sick, injured. They refuse to accept anyone. They say it's the father's order. He wants to free up beds, but still refuses to let people in. What's the point? Oh, he's getting ready. Huh? Fascinating how progress has just stopped here. People are suffering from the most common diseases. Where I'm from, disease was eradicated long ago. Fortunately, that place no longer exists. Now I live here. The woman who runs the animal shelter helped me and let me stay there. People at the station are too busy to pay attention to the strangers. Now, the central station reminds me of my home right before it was destroyed. You can feel the same tension in the air. The place will fall very soon. Mark my words. Oh no. Gonna happen. Aren't they telling me anything? Are they trying to hide the truth? When I came to visit my wife, she was already in a closed ward. They said there were complications with the childbirth. Now they're saying that she's under observation, but I still can't see her. You know what I think? They're just afraid to tell me the truth. I hope the Great Hand will punish them. What's the problem? Why can't we see our wives? The Father's order. We made it clear that the hospital is closed to visitors. Your wives will be fine. That's what we're here for. Don't violate the public order and go home. Yeah, let me just slip on by. Was this gonna be open? Hey, that's so creepy. Was this poor guy still in the waiting room? Can you want to tell him that his wife died? Oh man. Everyone was busy, and considering how he was shouting at everyone before, no one seemed to dare. If we can't keep him waiting here forever, someone has to tell him. It'll be the right thing to do. I have two more surgeries. If you're so compassionate, go and tell him yourself. Dang. Oh, thanks to the hands, you're not pregnant. Hey, how do you know? As you can see, I was transferred to the maternity wards, and this is the most important job. But it's a very hard one. I just got so used to amputations and ill people, and now I help with childbirth and look after moms. Oh, the great hand, give me some strength. Yeah. What is this? Wait, is that a switch? Oh, I'm guessing it opened this. And there are no babies in here. Uh, I... Were there any in here before? I actually don't think we could see. Oh, this is so creepy. Oh, water dialogue. Let me take a drink. Okay. Every night when I close my eyes, I see that day again. The central station looked very different back then. We were starving, dying of disease. I went searching for food with some others. 
They're all dead now, but in the dream, I could clearly see their faces. We're in the old tunnels east of the station. At that time, destruction hadn't yet been explored. That's when we met it. I can't see the creature clearly, but it seemed not to have a face. Nevertheless, it spoke to us. The creature told us, if we want our people to prosper, we must worship it and get rid of our leaders. When the voice ceased, a dark veil fell upon us all. When we came to our senses, we saw a vessel filled with an unknown substance. We were starving, and the substance in the vessel smelled good. This was the first time we tried wax. We took it to the station to share with everyone, but our leaders were furious and destroyed the vessel. That night, the creature appeared to me again. It ordered me to start a war against our leaders, and said I would become the new leader, the be father of all the people. Why do we keep having this dream? Does it hide some message? Something I'm not heeding? Was this written by the father? Why does he have like his own little place underneath the birthing ward? Where they keep the babies? I have such a bad feeling about this. Hey, we got some eyeballs. Eye of the newborn? Wait, what? Okay, I pressed A on it and it's just bringing up the karma thing. Wait, am I going in? Okay, am I supposed to find that place? Oh, it's a recruitment area. Can I go in? Wait, do they just take children and, like, put them in here? I mean, it's all connected, so why wouldn't they? What is this, a dragon person? Oh, its head is on the table. Wait, what is this? This feels like a developer room or something. Although this one's empty. This one's just so weird. I like this guy's hat. Very cool. Got smiley faces for eyes. Nice. Yeah, I definitely get the sense that this is like a developer room. Actually pretty neat. Because <laughs> there's nothing else in here. Okay, well that's really strange. Great hand. Why are they dragging all these poor people in here? They could give birth at their stations, but no. For some reason, they are sent here. They reek of poverty. You know, I just can't lie next to them. It's bad for my child. You agree with me, right? Father should throw all the poor people out of the hospital and make only... 
The residents of the station are allowed here. Yeah. No? Oh. So you, one of those kind-hearted. You feel sorry for every unwashed tramp you meet? Everything has its own order, and it can't be violated. Everything here is different from life at my station. All this luxury, gold, these giant houses, makes you feel so small and insignificant. I'm from the station called Faith, to the south from here, quite far actually. It's quite safe to live there, the solar core cleared the tunnels from all sorts of creatures. But we're still quite poor. Here, everyone has a house, but at our station, only servants of the church can have them. The rest have to live in tents or in shacks made of planks. Not complaining, but it's fascinating how the same people can have completely different lives. I'm sorry, I would like to chat, but I'm so exhausted with this child. You can just get it out. Not from here, are you? Tell me, what happened in the sanctuary? I've been here for... Oh, a week. I heard that something terrible happened and the station might be closed. I'm afraid that my baby and I won't be able to come back home. Where are we going to live? I have no one here at the station. The doctors are trying to calm me down, but I'd feel better if my husband was here. I, why is this like this? Okay, let's go check the solar core HQ. Hey, where'd you come from? It's curfew here. Wait, you look suspicious. Looks like one of the rebels. Is it him? Nah, that one was bald. Let him in. I heard the intelligence commander was looking for him. Buddy, come see him. He's got a job for you. Oops. <laughs> Meh, tacky. You know, this hand has always been a vain creature. Look at me. I'm so awesome. So divine. Ah. It doesn't even look like that in person. I bet if that talentless hack who drew this saw it in person, he would poke his eyes out. What about me? I mean, look at this perfection. They should draw me. I guess I've made a wrong decision. Instead of running around with a bum like you, I should have started a religion and made it all about me. Yeah, Samiti's not the brightest, huh? I need to see your commander. Civilians are not allowed into Solar Core HQ. Please go home. You see, I'd love to go home, but the problem is that the guards won't let me out of the station. How can I help you? You can let me see your commander. Civilians are not allowed into. Yeah, I got it, I got it. I guess I'll sleep on a bench today. Oh, the great hand. When will this all end? I don't think you. I don't think you want to say it like that. Yeah, okay, what's he gotta say? Yes, do you have something to tell me? No. Don't waste my time. I don't want to lose any karma with his missions. Oh, oh, the great hand. What am I still doing here? I should have been home long ago. But the father forbade all core members to leave their post because of the incident in the sanctuary. I wish I could catch this heretic. He'd regret what he did. Did you hear what happened near the sarcophagus? Unless there was a lunar order's camp. Then it was walled up. Rumor has it you can hear creepy voices from inside. First, there were those locks in the sanctuary, and the rebels. Now the Lunar Order decide to come back to life? Soon the whole underground will be filled with corpses, mark my word. Yep, probably. Move, come on, the rebels won't feel sorry for you. I don't want to tell your families about your death, harder. Each of you now worth 10 of them. Uh, this is not enough. I want each of you to be able to kill at least 20 of them. Today, the great battle is just around the corner. I want you all to be ready. Don't put me to shame. Yep, they're preparing for war against their own people. 
Ah, uh, good sign. I wonder if I'm going to be able to help. But yeah, I don't think I was, I've ever been up here. That's a great hand. I need to see a doctor. Did that rebel get you after all? I don't know, but my shoulder hurts really bad. Let me see. Right. Oh, the great hand. What did you do? Calm down. I just forced, forced the joint back in. It's all because you use your sword incorrectly. Don't focus all the energy in your shoulder. It's a classic rookie mistake. You should practice more. You may save your life one day. A quest. You hear what happened at the sanctuary? Something bad is coming for all of us. Mark my words. Everything was so peaceful back then. It's like there was still time, you know? But now, it just flies by. I don't know how much time is left. Makes you look at things differently. I actually have a daughter. A little girl decided to get married. Wants to do it according to the old traditions. My mother once told me that people used to give each other rings as a sign of love. She even had one from the surfaces or from the surface. But she doesn't live here anymore. My mother is a kind woman. She used to love singing. Everyone gathered to listen to her. Maybe you can help me find this ring. My daughter wrote here. It's possible whereabouts. Okay. My grandmother must have the ring. As far as I know, she should be somewhere in Old Nimbus. Ask around there. Maybe someone saw her. Okay, we can do that. Look what I've gotten. This letter from the family. My daughter drew this, but she doesn't know how to write yet. I asked the officer to bring my family here to the central station, but now there's this stupid curfew. I miss them so much. I hope it will all be over soon, and I'll be able to see them. Best your page. I wake up. Uh, my legs are killing me. I was patrolling in full gear for the whole day. Do I need all these measures? I doubt that someone would attack the guards. Sleep. I need sleep. I think this place was blocked uh, the last time we visited here. You have blood on your face. Did something happened while you were patrolling? Stumbled upon a rebel stash. There were knives, axes, bandages, some bottles. Got a lot of nerve. The officer said to take everything, but then five of them attacked us. We're all fine. Those ones can't even fight like men. Seems that the father needs to control the flock more. They seem to forget their place. It's true. This area is closed to the public due to the curfew. What are you doing here? You can't be outside. I'll let it slide this time. But don't think that every guard is as kind as me. So get out of here for your own good. I know everyone's been kind so far. Uh, oh wait, no, I need to go up. I want to visit Old Nimbus for the ring. Ooh, what's going on here? Hey, Kedra, are you okay? You look pale. Yes, yes, I'm fine. It's just, this is my first time. Oh, I get it. It can be scary the first time. I was nervous too. I almost passed out. What's gonna happen there? I mean, I know what they're gonna do, but how does it feel? Is this just a, a giant innuendo? Feels strange at first. It's like the bones are growing through your flesh. Quite a creepy feeling, to be honest. Then you feel unimaginable strength, as if nothing could ever defeat you. Like you're invincible. Just take a deep breath and let the strength to fill your body. Great hand, I feel your blessings. Show me your enemies. He's done. Take him to the quarters. Alright, will do, sir. Then I'll need more wax. The father decided to do more transformations. Yeah, there's barely enough for a few people. Will do, sir. So this is a transformation pro process that they use to make solar core 
members. Now look at the difference. It looks like they triple in size. Heck, maybe maybe even like quadruple. That's pretty scary. What are you doing here? You can't be on the streets now. You don't look like a typical Central Station resident. A lot of people here carry weapons. You look like an intelligence informer. Our officers often ask for the help. Intelligence service can't cover the entire underground. That's why the commander often hires people to do the assignments. If you want to be on good terms with the Corps, you should drop by the head of the intelligence service in the barracks. Oh, anyway, if I were you, I wouldn't wander the streets. It's dangerous out here. Everyone is worried about those lights in the sanctuary. Nobody knows what to expect. I just don't understand why. What are you talking about? It's dangerous enough here at the station. They need us here. Why are they sending us to old Nimbus? Calm down. I'm sure the father knows what he's doing. Be strong in your faith in the great hand. Maybe the enemies will come from that side, and then we'll be the ones who will protect the central station. Maybe you're right. It's just... The situation in the sanctuary makes me really nervous. Yeah, they're definitely getting ready. I wonder if this is where uh intelligence officer wants to attack next. Kind of like he did for the pilgrims. What are you doing here, master? The station has fallen on hard times. The enemies are coming from everywhere. They're asking for the Great Hand's blessing to protect people. Its powers will guard the passage. First, take the wax and draw a line from one wall to another. It will be the border that the Great Hand will guard. Then, we'll read the spell together and the path will be safe. Is that kind of- is that how they meet the sarcophagus? I was actually wondering about that. But we never came across any answers. Oh, this place got a map too. Let's see you. We're looking for a grandma. Huh? Another quest? What? Oh yes. There's an old woman. I haven't seen her in a while. Where has it that she went to the depot? I think you'd better look there. <laughs> Did I really not see this before? Like that's actually a pretty obvious button. Uh, yeah, I guess we can wander through the depot. See if we can find this lady. Although, she might just be in Spiritina, right? Let's be a little more smart about this and just go there. Oh, look at this. Actually tells you you found all the stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that makes collecting stuff a lot easier. Okay, so I'm only missing one spider toy, and it's in the Lighthouse of Hope. Hmm, I actually want to go try and find that. Oh yeah, I was going to go to Spiritina. 
Yeah, this game has actually been getting a lot of updates since it's been out. And they have like a giant roadmap. They're going to be changing a lot of things. So I think I'm pretty confident that this game has some kind of secret ending because it has multiple endings. Uh, just from what it seems like. And so I think I want to wait for them to be done with the roadmap before I actually try to get the secret ending. Oh, is this the grandma? New souls really come to Spiritina. I've been living here for a long time now. I don't really remember how they kicked me out of the central station. I lived in Old Nimbus, then went to the depot. Spiders found me there. I don't know why, but I started to sing. I guess that's why they let me keep my face. I had loved singing since childhood. In my youth, I performed in a restaurant at the central station. Then I simply got old. Do you know what the father does with old with the old timers? My legs didn't work anymore. And that was the end of my life at the station. That's how I ended up here. Since then I've been singing to everyone in Spiritina. Writers really like it. They seem to even understand the lyrics. What do we got here? Oh, that's a letter from my granddaughter. Oh, I saw the ring. Of course, it's still with me. I would be happy if my granddaughter wore it. Please, give the ring to my son. Just, if he asks what happened to me, just tell him that I died. For the best, believe me. I'm afraid he won't forgive me if he finds out that I'm here. He just won't understand. Ooh, that's tough. I feel like I would tell him. Okay, let's go talk to Big Spider. Okay, so we got the ring. Uh, I guess we'll just take it back. So I wonder if this is a day and night cycle. I wonder if it's, was there a curfew before? I honestly don't even remember. I don't think so. Did you find it? It's so beautiful. My daughter will be so happy. Did you see my mother? How is she? Oh, that's sad. Hoping to see her again. But anyway, thank you for your help. I asked my daughter to name her firstborn after you as a token of gratitude, but I didn't even ask your name. What's your name? Oh, is that how they got the ring? Okay, I have no idea why that keeps happening. His memory shards aren't even... Like, they're not even here. Also, I just have, I just have newborn eyes on me. That's so weird. Hey guys, these are my good luck charms. 
Hush, the Supreme Servant speaking. Servant to the Great Hand, heed me. The difficult times have come. Sure, it will be even more difficult without a hospital. Hush, you want to get arrested? Treacherous heretics are jealous of our happy life and threaten our existence. And the monsters that we are protected from by the Great Hand are getting stronger every day. Oh, that's what those lights meant. Now, we need to become stronger. We need to unite and work for the good of our community. Therefore, due to the order of the Father, there is a curfew now at the Central Station. No one can go outside without proper permission. Violators will be arrested by the Solar Corps guards. You can't visit the Sanctuary either, but I encourage you to pray with your families inside the walls of your homes. We need to be stronger than ever. Therefore, I ask you to go home and pray for your defenders. Oh, they're not gonna like that. What can we get into the sanctuary? Nobody wants to answer our questions. Just tell us what's going on. People want to know the truth. Great hand, you're all seeing and all on the almighty. Please protect your faithful novice and let him carry your light. Hey, I'm already leaving. I was just going home. Hmm? Forbidden to be on the streets. I know. Just don't turn me into the solar core, okay? Alright. Thank you. That was a very chaotic time, isn't it? It's nice to know that there's still something good left in people. What, for me not turning him in? Yeah, dude, I'm a pretty good guy. Unbelievable. When first lock was lit, I thought church knew what was going on. Now it's clear that they have no idea what to do. Yeah, that's why they sent guards. They're just patrolling the streets, but the church can unleash them on us at any moment. Oh, I thought I thought this cat was dead. I was about to say, no way. They kill all the animals? But look at her, dude. She's in her new dress. That's probably equally getting torn up like the last one. Hey, we can finally get in here to the playground. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry, but I have to talk to you. Huh? You got into a fight again, yeah? No, no. To tell the truth, it wouldn't be so bad. But send him to the training officer then. And your son would have a brilliant career in the Solar Corps. Someone managed to steer his energy in the right direction. What's wrong then? See, our task is not only to give kids necessary, necessary education, but to teach them morality and traditions, put them on the right path. And I saw those heretical texts in his notebook about some kind of space, planets, and how he wants to go to the surface. <gasps> oh, the great hand. Ron is curious at a young age. That's totally okay. You should talk to him. Otherwise, I'll have to report it, and you know, it won't end well. push-ups one two three yeah hi mister i'm training one two i want to become a core guard you're so cool except only the strongest ones whether you like it or not you have to train hard you look strong by the way they'd accept you you should get rid of your pigtail though but otherwise you're a perfect candidate well let's go one two three Making fun of my pigtail? I should knock you over, kid. I had a dream that I was a core guard and fought huge monsters. What did you dream about? Uh, it's always the same nightmare. I find myself inside a large iron thing somewhere underwater. Oh, this is, um... Uh, the girl from Little Nightmares, isn't it? A monster with very, very, very long arms is running after me, and everything around is so strange. My dad said that dreams are visions that the Great Hand sends to you, but I don't understand what it's trying to tell you. So Little Nightmares is actually a game I was planning on playing for October, so this is perfect. We got another quest. Mom, um, is Daddy really coming home soon? He's been gone for a long time. 
Yes, yes, soon. God, what do I do? His father disappeared a long time ago, but how can I raise a child without his father? I got a letter from him before he disappeared. He said he had a gift for our son. Of course, it won't be... Or it won't replace his father, but it might distract him at least for a while. Help me, please. I can't tell you everything. People at the station won't understand. But everything is here in this letter. Got a little hard on it. Honey, for several days the battle has been raging outside our walls. Our losses have been enormous, but we're not giving up. So many worthy fighters of the Lunar Order have died. I really miss you and the baby. I hope we get a chance to see each other soon. I even prepared a present for my little boy. A wooden sword, carved with my own hands. Forever yours. Oh, where do you got the sword? Oh. Wow, what a cool sword. Just like the guards. Thank you, mister. Thank you. So he won't replace his father, but at least it will keep him busy for a while. I have to tell him the truth, but I just don't know how to do it. Exploded. Dude, what are these memories? I'm... Feels like another puzzle. Huh? Heard another lock lit up in the sanctuary. What's going on there? Church doesn't know what to do. What are we gonna tell the children? They're asking questions. We'll think of something. Just keep calm. Children start to panic. Everyone else will. First, we need to get to the hospital. Why? Wouldn't it be better to start with orders when most of the guards are sleeping? Father won't let us take down the hospital. We need to treat the wounded. Shh, we're not alone here. Who's here? There's nobody here. Human souls are not pure here. They fell under the power of the prodigal son long ago. People here believed in lies. Their souls are as dark as night. Oh, do you think that uh that road over here isn't blocked now? Or there's a court guard blocking this. Hey, you're from the central station, right? What's wrong with those gates? I only know what is written in the orders, and my family is there. They'll be alright, won't they? Uh... Yeah. Hope you're right. I won't be able to see them soon. Uh, it's unlikely that someone will take over for me in the near future. You ever read that before? Father forbade us to leave the checkpoints because of all these things happening at the station. I shouldn't even talk to you. Apparently, the other guards won't come to take over for us in the near future. I can't even imagine how tired I am of looking at the same walls every day. I think I've already forgotten what my own house looks like. Hopefully this will end soon and someone will take over for us. Still blocked. What do you think we do with these eyeballs? It has me so curious. Like who who is gonna want these? The only thing I can imagine is that someone from their pilgrim camp since they're all crippled and some of them some of them are blind maybe we can just give it to one of them what are you doing here young man didn't you hear there's a curfew at the station are you one of those who listen to the tales of those lower city bastards tell oh to the tales okay 
You shouldn't trust them. Believe me, they don't know what they're talking about. Where do you think you're going, young man? It's curfew here at the station. Father forbade people to go outside. Mom, you won't understand. I have to see her. You think you're so special? You think the guards won't notice you? I don't want to visit you in prison. You're staying home, period. Wait, do they actually have a prison? I was curious about that. No, that's not. There are many guests because of this curfew. This place used to feel alive. I hope the father won't shut down the restaurant because of this unrest. I'm so used to working here. I don't even know what I do. Can I have... Can I see the bartender again? Yeah, so I've talked to him before. I can't remember if this is new dialogue or not. I think it might be. Women is my favorite topic. You know why? This is impossible to live with them. But without them, it's unbearable. Bring your lady here. Hmm. There's a complete mess on Unity Day. One of the guests got so drunk they started fighting everyone with guests. Waiters. What could we do? He was in the highest ranks of the Solar Corps. We just wait for him to calm down. Huh? He passed out under the table. I had to call the guards to take him home. We can actually go up here. Everything's getting worse. I heard that the rebels are already somewhere here at the station. Shush, the guards will hear you. Want to be hanged? Oh, the great hand. If they're here, and the revolution will begin very soon. We better be away from the station when it starts. I doubt that these people will show any mercy to the elite. How are we going to leave the station? The father imposed the curfew. We can slip during the shift change, still have friends in the core, and then we'll hide on the frontier. Be ready. You better change into simple clothes. You don't want to look suspicious. Wait, you just want to run away? To leave our home? Don't you believe in our guys? No, I'm not going anywhere. As you wish. I don't want to end up with my throat being slit in my sleep. What do you want, old man? Don't interrupt the Corps' work. This is outrageous. Your people have taken half of the library away. I will report this to the father. This was the father's order. Central station, it needed wood, so we took it from the library. Wood? But what about books? The knowledge? Are you high on book dust, old man? I told you, father's order. Leave me alone, or do you want to visit the gallows? Do people snort book dust? Is that a thing? How you get smart. Come, come closer. Yes, yes, very interesting. Strong physique, fast reaction speed. Come closer, let me see you. Okay. Exactly what I need. You see, as a scientist on the side of the enemy. Uh. By the grace of the Father, I was allowed to live here. Of course, I had to betray all of my former allies, but the Order was doomed anyway. It was a lunar guy. I beg your pardon. You're probably not interested in details of the life of the old scientist. I'll get to the point. So when the Order was alive, I worked on a special weapon there. Intelligent fusion of mechanics and organics. Perfect soldier. My creation never saw the light of day. This is a part of the deal with the core. However, I originally need was inside this creature. I assume you notice my mutilated appearance. I'm trying to reverse these terrible mutations. For this, I need the blood of this creature. You see, it's created by crossing human and inhuman blood. I won't bore you with these scientific details. Of course, you must first kill the monster. I guess it won't be a big problem. 
You'll need to go to the former headquarters of the Order. This remote will open the room where the creature is kept. According to recent rumors, now it's possible to get there. All details are in this note. We're we'll waiting for you here. Not that I'm able to walk anyway. So I do remember there being a giant door that we couldn't get through. Yeah. I actually think I know where that is. Oh, here's the tree we saw in the vision. <laughs> A really fat guard. What is this? Hmm. Greetings. I remember seeing you before. Not that I remember everyone, though. Hmm. People call me a rustler. Before you ask, no, I've never stolen anything. I knew you'd ask. I really like that name myself, but it struck, or it stuck. It's what people call me now. They call me that because, hmm, well, because some people say that I make these rustling sounds all the time. This all is because of my equipment. Well, and I also let you step on a bone so that it cracks. But who doesn't? Am I really that rustling? Uh, yeah. Hmm, I shouldn't have asked. I'm just looking after everything here. No, I'm not from the core. There's just nothing else to do here, at least until the father lists this curfew. Can we talk to him again? Oh, yeah. Once I was a part of a group that explored the hidden parts of the frontier and collected interesting things from there. So everyone was annoyed by my rustling sounds, so I ended up alone. Hmm. I had to travel alone a couple of times. It was too dangerous. Hmm. Look, I'm not a coward. It's just that the monsters are always able to find me surprisingly fast. So it's probably good that I'm here. It's, hmm, safer? Come back sometimes. Tell me what's going on in the world. Wait, more? Okay, it's just the same dialogue. So is this his house? Kind of impressive. Hello citizens, servants of the Great Hand. The hard times fell upon our shoulders. There's rumors of riots, the revival of the treacherous order. Leave your fears behind. The history taught us that the Father and the Corps have always protected us from enemies. Remember how Father got rid of the heretics who ruled the station? Remember how he defeated the Lunar Order? Guided by the Great Hand, the Solar Core has always guarded the humanity. Huh? Don't give in to the fear. Pray to the Great Hand for the health of our guards. Soon, all of this will become just a part of the history. Other quest. Before the establish establishment of the Father's power under the protection of the Great Hand, the Central Station was ruled by a group of people who possessed heretical knowledge. It was a dark period for humanity. The leaders took children away and didn't return them to their families afterwards. Later, it was revealed that these people were real cannibals. While these citizens were starving and looking for food in the tunnels, their leaders ate children in their chambers. The reign couldn't continue anymore. Eventually, the one we know as the father raised a rebellion and started a new era, the Era of Prosperity. This sounds like what they're probably doing, though. Oh, Vestiri Page. No one knows when the Lunar Order appeared, but we do know he shed the first blood in the war. The heretics sent their spy to kill the closest person to the father, his mother. Oh, this is all lies. The killer ended her life, hoping to break the spirit of our leader. But the Lunar Order was wrong. The father knew that the souls of all servants of the Great Hand will live and prosper. The attack of the heretics only hardened his spirit. The father, at the head of the army of the Corps, went to war with the sole purpose of not returning back until there was not a trace of the heretics. The culmination of the war was the Battle of the Abyss in the 8th year from the appearance of the Great Hand. 
Lunar Order used all their strength in the results of awful experiments which they had conducted on prisoners. But the Corps won the battle that lasted more than 40 hours. Father pierced the traitor's heart and his body turned to stone. The headquarters of the Order was walled up forever, for no living soul should see what happened there. It's all lies. So... Is this supposed to be a three-headed dog? Oh, that's funny. Oh, looks like you're a traveler too. There aren't many of us here. You like my house? It's awesome, right? It's a one of a kind. The thing is called... Uh... Airplane. Once upon a time, people from the surface used those to travel long distances by air. I used to travel here. Well, first me and a small group of people lived in a bunker outside the underground. Then we quickly ran out of food and decided to find a new home. Yes, I saw the surface. It wasn't a pretty sight, to be honest. The endless red desert. Landing, however, wasn't soft, and the tail section was torn off and carried in the other direction, together with the captain. I don't know if he survived. Since then, I've been living here and exploring the secret passages of the underground. Look, buddy, do me a favor. Traveler to tra traveler to a traveler. I just came across an unexplored tunnel that's awfully dark, and a harsh wind is constantly blowing, so neither candles nor torches work. We had a handheld lamp on the plane. It was in the tail section, which, well, you know. I remember that it was in the storage section behind a closed door. I even still have a valve. Can't open the door without it. You'd help me a lot if you found this lamp. I don't remember where the plane fell exactly, but there were strange creatures poking up from the surface. I hope this information will come in handy. It's too dangerous for me to go there. At least you've got a sword. Wait, so is this part of an airplane? Oh, it is. That's cool. And <laughs> so much reading. Oh, this is a crazy looking dog. More barrels? Why does father need so much water? Youngster, you've never been to war, haven't you? If the barracks are besieged, you won't be able to fire without water. But take as much as they said, you'll be thankful later. True. Who's there? Come closer. Let me listen to you. Fortunately, unlike most people, I can't rely on my eyes. Hey, I've got some eyes! Started to lose my sight when I was a teenager. I have a great hearing. Father managed to convince Kor not to kick me out of the station, so I live here and teach music. Of course, in times like these, people have no time for music, so I spend my days with my dog. It helps with my spatial awareness. Come back some other time. I'm always happy to welcome guests. Very lonely at the station. You know, I once had a, a very talented student. He could play any instrument. But most of all, he loved the harp. Such a talented boy. Fortunately, he hasn't come to see me for a long time now. Hey, that's probably the guy in uh, Spiritina, the Lunar Order dude. Hope he's okay. Last time I saw him, he said he wanted to leave the central station. Uh, I wonder if he has new dialogue now. Whoa, look at this. What the heck? Oh, so you think you're a hero? You all do. You guys run around with your swords and then leave corpses all around the tunnels. Eh, not wrong. What are you trying to find? The meaning of life? The meaning of life is to have fun. Your face is gloomy. Cheer up. When you're old, you stop getting upset about all this nonsense. Who am I? Eh, you youngsters don't know your heroes. I am the architect of the Central Station. I personally designed the Sanctuary of the Great Hand. May it bless our souls. Have you seen the houses in Ashmalam? They're also my work. And now they don't build anything at the station anymore. So all I can do is reap the fruits of my labors. Well, and share my wisdom with youths like you, of course. I actually traveled very often before, but now the father has forbidden to leave the station, so... Like my pet, huh? It's actually really cool looking. Amazing creature. 
I found it near Nunimbus. I don't know where it came from. It followed me and that's it. This is how we ended up together. It's harmless, don't be afraid. Hold its mouth. The teeth are sharper than the swords of the guards. This is pretty... Wait, this is actually creepy. We have the eyeballs out on the... Edges of this. Hands coming out of them. I'll t like, touch this dude in the middle. That's so weird. Father, please hear us. We are dying of diseases. Father's busy. Go away. How come that the father doesn't really care about the fate of his servants? Our settlements won't last long without the help of the central station. I look like I care. Say, go away, or I'll help you with my sword. Oh my gosh, another quest? Child of Destiny, you answered my call. The world's fate rests on our shoulders. Perhaps you still do not understand the importance of this, but you will. There's one tiny detail you should know. You have to defeat me. You'll be able to understand who you really are only in a battle. Wait, what? I <laughs> have to fight this dude? What is he talking about? Damn rebels. If it wasn't for them, I would have been home long ago. I swear I'll enjoy their death as much as I can. I bet I'll kill more of them than you. you Wanna bet? I'll kill 30 rebels faster than you. 30? Nah, make it 50. Hey, stop talking. Bring the barrels inside. Dude, another... Wait. Hey, you're, uh... That's got some blood on it. Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy? Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. He's handsome, isn't he? I bet you've never seen such a creature. Uh, I've seen a part of it. We've been together for a long time. I think they're called foxes. I found him during the war with the Order. I imprisoned a lot of people back then. I wanted to send them for experiments. Fox was there too, trapped in a cage. We waited for the right moment to run away. Sure, not everyone made it, but we were able to hide. The tail? Yes, his tail is unusual. It seems that it's not supposed to look like this. Maybe the Order has already conducted experiments on him. But he's fine now. Strangers find him quite scary, but I'm used to it. Foxes are actually pretty cool. As you can see, the bakery is empty due to the curfew. Almost no one comes here. Well, except for a couple of core guard guards who are on patrol. Oh, I miss those days when the bakery was full of life. Hopefully this will be over soon and life will go back to normal. Wait, is that the old man with the stories? Why don't you want to accept the obvious? We angered the great hand that we did something wrong. This is all because of the ungrateful heretics who refuse to take wax. Mark my word. Yeah, a lot of marking my words going on in this part. Uh, these lights are the signs of the apocalypse. Yeah, maybe. Seems like there are no more interesting people at the central station. I mean, since you're speaking to some old man. If the station goes on as usual, as you can see, the church was very frightened by those lights. All the guards from the solar core are at the station now. It's curfew here. The people are losing their patience. Everyone is whispering. They say an uprising is coming. Do you know what I think? It's just talk. I don't think that people will really go for it. It's one thing to talk about war, yet another thing to take part in it. You know, once upon a time, blood was shed at the station. Former owners of the station didn't want to give it to the church. People were rioting for several days. I was young back then, and I was also involved in, the, in this madness. I'm not proud of what I did. I killed people just to survive. A madman is attacking you with an axe. You have to defend. Well, you understand that. 
The church has won, obviously. But I still... I pray every day for it not to happen again. You have to kill once to know that you don't want to do it again. I hope that people will understand this. Stop by again. I hope the guards won't close the station. I'll be glad to chat. How can you say that? This is our home. Why don't you understand? Everything will only get worse. I don't want to be at the station when the guards start arresting everyone they see. We can't put our family in danger. What do you suggest? That we go to the poor ones? Sleep on the cold floor? I'm not talking about the fact that we would have to go through those dark tunnels. Only the hand knows what's in there. Hey, these people are all stuck in like a pretty tough spot. Calm down in the name of the great hand. Go home and find your inner peace and prayers. Father knows everything. This curfew is just a precautionary measure. Nothing threatens our glorious station. Please go home. May the great hand protect you. Where did he go? Hey, did you see a bald guy? Oh, here's this bald guy again. Bloody rebels. Why can't they all stay stay at home? You, get off the street. There's a curfew at the station, actually. Okay, I've been down here. What do you think is behind the gates? The church is too worried for it to be nothing. Who cares? If the hand wanted us to go there, we would have been there a long time ago. The butterfly from the surface is much better than here. And once we're there, we will no longer need the hand. That's why it doesn't want to let us out. Are you out of your mind? This is blasphemy. You can be hanged for the words like that. Like these. What? <laughs> Better keep your mouth shut. It took him. It took my son. Where is he? Why did it take him away? Hush, hush. Your son is fine. He's with a great hand. And it knows what's best for him. This is a huge honor, and you should be proud of your son. <laughs> Where's my child? Where did they go? Those damn rats got into the arsenal of the core. Officer will skin us alive for this. I saw them turn here. I don't know where they're... Where they are now probably in someone's house damn the command ordered not to enter the houses they don't want to scare civilians everyone's already nervous how can rebels not understand they're going to their own deaths one of us is worth 10 of them can't wait for them to attack all this waiting is just so annoying wait hey why are you standing here you can't be outside I'm just enjoying the swans. Go home. Due to the father's order, it is forbidden to be on the streets of the central station without special permission. Which part do you not understand? Go home and lock the door. You can't go outside. Uh, have I been everywhere? Wait, I don't remember going across the, the bridge. Is there actually a bridge up here? Oh, this is what led to the library. Okay. So I went like all the way up and around. I think we just haven't been inside of the sanctuary. If they'll even let us in, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Why did they send us here? There's a cure curfew at the station. I don't think that someone will decide to break into the sanctuary. You asshead. 
but the rebels come. For the guy who made the mess in the sanctuary, who'll stop them, huh? Oh, well, you're making a good point. Turns out that we're doing a really important job. Maybe we need to call for backup then. But someone attacks us. Uh, calm down. Won't you be able to cope with some rabble? Well, just stand still. Okay, that dude calls him an asset and he's like, well, you've got a good point. <laughs> Yeah, we got a bunch of quests to do. Um, okay, so nothing over here. And we've already been that way. Ooh, I don't think I had this here before. Oh, this is from Nameless. This is his weapon, right? What did my death count get to? 98. Yeah, I think I'll call it for this part. That was like basically all dialogue, but we found some more disturbing stuff about the hospital, which has been on my mind a lot, so... That was actually pretty cool. And now we know where to go to find the stuff I'm missing. Hmm. So I think the next part will be backtracking. I'll find the spider's toy, return that to the spider, the big spider. And then I guess we can go ahead and do the quests and try to look for the bestiary pages. And then I'll come out with like a, a special part where I just read through all of these because there is a lot of interesting lore in here. Like, dude, just look at this spider holding the base. So, yeah. We'll do all of that in the next one, and I'll see you then. Peace.